what's up? Before the video ever starts, I thought I would grace you with my presence in this really weird filter. The amount of people who watch my videos who aren't subscribed is a huge number, so if you would, if you enjoy my videos, please do subscribe. You don't have to turn on bell notifications. I don't give a crap about that. But if you would subscribe, I would appreciate it. Also, if you would like this video, if you like it, I would appreciate that as well. And you can also follow me at my cars are my kids on Instagram, where you'll see some stuff that YouTube never gets to see. And you will definitely see things before YouTube ever sees it because I'm so slow. My cars are my kids is my handle. And if you would subscribe, I would appreciate it. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy the video. What's up? I have decided today to do a video uh, walk around of my Jeep Wrangler, my 2002 Wrangler. I did a little bit of a walk around when I bought it, but really it was just kind of things that I knew right then. I've owned the Jeep for a year now, so I think it's time. I haven't done a ton of mods because they haven't really been necessary. They were all done for me. I've built a Jeep before. I just kind of wanted to buy one already built and that's what I did. Nothing really bad has happened. You know, nothing substantial, just Jeep things. So hope you enjoy it. It is a lovely seven-ish degrees outside. Um, we've had like 15 or 16 or 17 days of uh, not above freezing weather. So something we're definitely not used to here in Oklahoma. And we're supposed to get anywhere between like 12 and 15 inches of snow, I think starting tomorrow morning into Monday. So that should be exciting. But I'm gonna show you and do a walk around of my Jeep, everything that I've added, just some things that maybe I went over whenever I first bought it. Like I said, I just hit a year with it. And so I'm gonna show you some pictures as well because I'm not getting it out of the garage, it's too cold. These came with the Jeep, they were not on. I like them, I like the old KC Daylighter look, I like the old smiley face cap. So I installed these, it was pretty much plug and play, pretty easy, but because I did that, the antenna was in the way, so I got a stubby antenna for that. Let's see. I haven't really done anything inside besides I revive this every once in a while. Um, with coconut oil, it works really, really well. Um, I need to get a new one of these because this keeps falling off and I just have it in there just so it's not a gaping hole. Um, I installed these grab bars to make it easier for myself and my mom to get in whenever she gets in. Um, I don't really like the hanging ones because I feel like they come off too easy. I had those on my JK. I have the Apex Edition, which the hood decals were removed and it comes with these uh, as well as it came with the decal on the hood. I think that's it, but these are really, really nice. I like these a lot. I love the color. Um, I have the switch for the KC lights right here. So on the back, I have a fifth spare with the matching wheels as well as the tires. And let's open this. Um, so in the summertime, I take the top off and store it and I run a tonneau cover, which I will show you right here. And I also run a spider web shade on the top just so I don't get you know, continuous sun on me. I have this right here, this mat. Um, I just hauled some branches not long ago, so it's kind of dirty, that I used with double-sided tape. I bought this at like Advanced Auto Parts, super cheap. It just kept the bare metal from being exposed, which gets really hot in the summer, as some of you may know. If I have the winch controls right here. Um, I have these guys, so whenever I do have the top off the Jeep, I put these around the seat belts of the passengers so they're not flapping, which that's a really good fix. This is just a Velcro little strap. See, I have a trailer hitch, of course, because I have to have that to haul a trailer. And then um, I have this table that I made. I made this pretty soon after I bought the Jeep. Um, but what it is, is it is uh, super convenient for whenever I'm out working at the land. I used a piano hinge. A lot of people will drill this into their Jeep or use double-sided tape. The double-sided tape did not work for me, so I used these bars, these magnetic bars that work really well. And the best thing is, is you can take it off if you don't want it anymore on your Jeep. So right here, I just used um, two magnets. The pack came with two, so I just put two on there. And it works really well for putting it up. It stays pretty secure. If I were to slam this, it would probably come undone, but that doesn't happen too often. And then I used paracord right here to keep the table from just falling down and this works well as well. Um, the weight that it holds, it holds quite a bit of weight. I probably wouldn't, you know, put a body, like sit somebody on it or something like that. That sounded weird, but it holds things like whenever I'm working again out at the land, any kind of tools that I have or stuff like that. Um, I also drilled some holes one inch apart because we have a huge stock pond that I fish at. And whenever I catch a fish and I'm trying to take the hook off and stuff like that, trying to weigh it, trying to be as quick as I can to get the fish back in the water. I found that this is easy to lay the fish on and I'll be able to mark or easily see um, how big the fish is, especially if it's something small like a crappie. Like I said, all of these are one inch apart, so I can easily lay it down, see where I stopped, and then count, and I would know how long it was. 
Um, I did this the other day randomly. I say the other day, everything's the other day. I did this, you know, two or three months ago. Um, it had, I just don't like the center caps for these wheels. I like the wheels okay, I just don't like the center caps. They're skulls, but I just plastic did this red to kind of go with the red theme. Um, that was just a boredom thing I did. Uh, over here, rut row, that fell. Um, this is actually the center console. This is the tonneau cover. I have the side mirrors that I run um, whenever the top's off the Jeep. And then I believe this was for the front bumper, if I'm not mistaken. So on the outside fenders, Jeeps notoriously have faded fenders and I cannot stand that. So let's go up here where the mud hasn't been. I bedlined these probably maybe four or five months ago and they've held up really well. I've only had to do it once and they clean up really well too. So I bedlined these and it just gives it a rich color to be able to match this and not look gray and nasty. So speaking of that, I have also restored the hard top. Um, it was super gray. I'll show you a picture here. And I used Pinatrol. I think that was the name of it. Um, so what you do with the Pinatrol is you do the same thing that you would like if you were painting something. So you dip it, dip a paintbrush in the Pinatrol, go over this, and then I would take a dry cloth, like a microfiber, and wash it off or wipe it off to get any excess off and also to get any brush strokes away. So that restored this uh, hard top completely. I've done that twice since I've owned this in a year. Once I did it after I had put the hard top back on just because it had set in a barn for five months and it was just gross and grungy. So again, I've just done stupid little simple stuff because this Jeep was already pretty much built when I got it, which was what I wanted. Um, I did black these out with some um, plastic dip because I didn't like the orange on the front and I left them on the side. Um, the cool thing is with this, um, I didn't do it so thick that you can't see it at night. So they're still, um, they, they work properly. Uh, it's just not the orange. There's nothing really special about the engine though. I promise. Um, I do have a winch right here and I also have, um, let's see, a pro comp lift which has the steering stabilizer, um, the shocks, the springs, all that kind of good stuff. They have um, BF Goodrich All Terrains. These are 285-75 16s. Uh, I like the way these look. I love 35s on a Jeep, but I like the way these look a lot. This Jeep is so small that I'm not really sure how 35s would look on it or how I would feel about 35s on it. Now, if I came across a really good deal of 35s, I'd probably buy them um, just because I like them that much, but I'm really satisfied with the way this Jeep looks with these uh, wheels and tires and the suspension setup. These have metal guards right here. I don't know if they came black or if they're uh, painted black, but these came on the Jeep. Again, it has an aftermarket bumper with a tire swing for the matching spare. We have setups for CVs right here. So if I ever wanted to do that, I could. Um, I think everything's wired up inside as well. We have an aftermarket, well I say aftermarket, this did have a uh, locked gas cap which would throw codes like a mother. So I ended up getting this and that got rid of my codes for the gas cap. I always get an evaporation leak code, small and large with this, but this was a 1985 Wrangler or something like that like that, um, that would be non-existent, that code that's that it's throwing. So because this has to have an evaporation, whatever, um, mine is not working properly, which does not affect the vehicle in the slightest. Um, it just throws codes. So because of that, I have a, down there, I'm not gonna get it. I have a code reader that I got off of Amazon. Um, there's a link in the description of this video for that. I keep that just because if I wanted to, I could keep my check engine light on knowing that it was those things, but um, knowing kind of my luck and just trying to be proactive. If something did come up that wasn't that evaporation leak, I know about it every time it comes up. So because I do not like a check engine light on my dash, I just clear it every time it comes up, which is maybe once every two weeks or something like that. Up, I didn't even mention the aftermarket um, front bumper and of course the tow hooks and stuff like that that came with it. These all came red, which I really, really like. And then of course I mentioned the, the winch, but yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Um, that's kind of a walk around on my Jeep. Again, I really haven't had any major issues with it. I have replaced the coil pack and I also replaced the spark plugs, um, but that's about all I've done to it. And again, I really haven't had any trouble with it. It's 19 years old, so it kind of has some quirks. My 2002 Wrangler TJ uh, Apex Edition. Uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Other than that, I will catch you in the next video. My hands are cold.